this is Lou Marino. Today, for our tutorial, we're going to take a photo and we're going to turn it into a pencil drawing. This is the image we're going to use, uh, and we're going to take this image and we're going to make it into a pencil drawing like this. So let's begin. Uh, so here, here's our image. We opened it up in a new project in Photoshop. Um, before we start, for you. James Bond trivia buffs. This is the actress Ursula Andress, and she played Honey Ryder in the very first Bond movie in 1962 called Dr. No. So she has the distinction of being the first Bond girl. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take a copy of this layer. You could, you, you could use Command or Control J, or just drag it to the uh, to, on the layers panel and create a second layer. I'm going to name the original layer original and I'm going to na name the copy layer I'm going to call it sketch. Okay. So with with the copy layer selected create a clipping mask, a use saturation clip clipping mask and you can easily do that by selecting the icon in the layers panel to bring up your choices. I'm going to select U saturation and in the slider at the top for U saturation and lightness I'm going to take the saturation slider and move it all the way to the left minus 100 and in effect it turns the image into a black and white. Okay so then go back to the sketch layer and invert the layer you can do that by holding command or control I while you have the layer selected so I'll do that it turns into what looks like a negative like an old film photo negative and while that's selected let's change the blending mode to color dodge and everything should turn white except for maybe a couple of little traces of black so at this point we want to start to bring out bring out the underlying image and to do that we're going to use uh, one of our blur filters so go up to the menu click on filter blur and select Gaussian blur okay once you have the the window open for Gaussian blur you want to take the, the the pixel slider and start moving it to the right as you move it to the right and add pixels, you'll start seeing the underlying image start to come out from underneath. Don't go too far or it'll look like you're just making a black and white image. So slide it out slowly and get to a point where you feel comfortable uh, on the way it looks and then uh, we can go on to the next step. So I'm going to stop here at 10 and as you can see it's already starting to look like a pencil drawing but we'll have a few more few more tasks to do to make it actually look a little bit better. So the image at this point looks quite bright. So what we'll do is we'll use another adjustment layer. This time we're going to use a levels adjustment layer. So I'll click on the icon for adjustment layers and I will select levels. Now a, a graphic will come up to describe the highs and the lows in the pictures, basically the blacks and the whites and the grays in the picture. And as you can see, the, uh, the graph is heavily skewed towards, towards white. And you can see by the image, it's very, very bright. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the, the, the black slider, which is on the left, and just start dragging it over towards the center. And as you notice as I'm dragging it over, the, the blacks in the image are starting to pop out a little bit. So I'll go about halfway and I'll stop there. So now that we've, we've used uh, the levels uh, adjustment layer to bring out the black, it, there is a side effect here on this image and that I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you. As you can see, there's a lot of noise around the image, even on the face. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up that noise. So I'm going to go over to the layers panel and create a blank layer and in this layer I'm just going to name it white. Go over to your color picker and make sure that your foreground color is white and your background is black. You can simply just click the icon over here to, to swap them.
and white is now um, in the foreground. So what you want to do next is make sure you have your paintbrush tool selected and then we want to change some of the opacities and the flows uh, that are associated with this, uh, with this paintbrush at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the opacity and we're going to move it to about 50%. So let's do that. We'll move to 50%. And the flow, we're going to move it to 20%. Okay, so we don't want the full on brush, 100% flow, 100% opacity, because we want to have a little bit of control. So what we're going to do is we're going to start cleaning up this noise that we see around the image and on the face. Um, I would suggest using a fairly large brush at this point. So uh, I'm just going to make my brush a little bit, a little bit larger, and then just start painting around, around the hair, around the, around the hair, and um, it's just like using an airbrush. So it'll build up as you go along. That's why we don't have 100%. And you can change the size of your brush along the way by using the left and the left bracket key and the right bracket key to make it larger and smaller. So as you can see, I'm I'm just moving around and and cleaning up some of the like some of the noise on the outside of our hair. You don't have to be perfect. Remember this is a sketch. So it doesn't matter if we're absolutely perfect with uh, with the cleanup. We just want it to stand out from the background. So um, so here's what we look like. I'll just back away for a second. Here's what we look like now with the with the background cleaned up. So let's let's work on her face a little bit. So we, we want to get some of this noise from her face. So I'm just going to go around on the inside of her face. I'm staying away from the um, the more defined lines around her lips, her nose, her eyes. You don't want to you don't want to take any of that away. We still want to have that that kind of a of a, of a break between the colors. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit more and you can see that uh, we're, we're seeing a little less noise in the face now. Uh, optionally if you wanted to you can actually clean up the sweater in this case so I'll just take a little bit of that away um, and we'll just clean that up just a little bit. Okay, So I'll back away again so you can see what what we're, where we're at at this point. I'll shut off the white layer so you can see where we were before we made the, the adjustment on the white. So here's where we were and here's where we are. So um, what happened during, during this step is it, now that we've kind of cleaned up the background and the face, um, we, we would like to maybe highlight the, the black areas a little bit more. So why don't we add another layer so I'll add another layer. I'll, I'll call this black. And we're going to use this layer to kind of get some of that contrast back into the image. Uh, make sure that you now swap your foreground and background colors so that black is, is in the foreground. And we still have our pencil uh, uh, tool selected, but let's change some of the uh, some of the opacities and flows for this. So let's move our opacity down to about 25 and the flow all the way down to one. So we want we want to build this up very slowly. So again, let's just review. Black is your foreground color. We have the paintbrush selected. We have an opacity of 25 and a flow of one. And now we're going to we're going to paint on her hair a little bit and let's see what we can do to just bring it out. Now again we're using a flow of one so the buildup is going to be very slow and it may even appear that nothing is actually happening on the image but we are adding color very very slowly and I'll show you that right now. So I'm going to back away and I'm going to shut off the black layer and just to show you, even though it looked like we weren't doing much, we are actually adding a little bit of, of black to the image. So now it, it kind of pops out a little bit better, and it's to taste, whatever you feel like. The other thing you can do is you can add a little more black to the lips to bring that out, and the nose, and the eyes, and you could even do the, the, full, the eyebrows if you wanted, okay? So here is... Uh, the before 
before we added the black, and here's the after. And I think that looks that looks pretty good at this point. And in fact, I think we're actually done with the sketch at this point. So let's take a look at what the original looked like. And here's the original, the original color image, and now here's our finished sketch. And here's what the images uh, look like side by side. Here's your color, here's your sketch, and um, I think we're done for the video right now. Thanks for, for listening. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.